Before we look at how Arduino JS is compared to other Node.js frameworks like Express, it is worth mentioning that Arduino JS is a full Node.js framework with batteries included, whereas Express is a minimalist Node.js framework. The problem with frameworks like Express arises when your project starts getting bigger. Then you will begin to think of how to structure the project, where to put this, where to put that, then how to scale the project generally. Arduino JS, on the other hand, has a standardized but yet flexible directory structure, which makes it easy to structure and scale your project. I know you might be thinking, what if my project doesn't need all the batteries that Arduino JS comes included with? Well, Arduino JS takes a modular approach by extracting its functionalities into what are called service providers that are made to work together through a dependency injection layer. So, in its core, Arduino JS is lightweight. The service providers are the building blocks of Arduino JS applications. So, depending on your project, all you have to do is install the necessary service providers. To make development experience a smooth one, Arduino JS provides three boiler plates, which you can choose from when creating a new Arduino JS application. So, you can choose the full stack app boiler plate, which is the default, or start with the slim boiler plate and extend it as your application grows, or just use the API-only boilerplate if you are building an API.